What is up guys? Welcome back to Demon X Machina. And we left off last time. We got some upgrades to our arsenal. Uh, let's go test them out in the um, at the uh, testing round really quick. I want to see what this acid weapon's like. like. Does it fire like a blob of acid or is it like a beam or what? I don't know. So let's check it out. Oh, all right. Oh, wait, it's like an explosion. Okay, how much ammo does it have? Okay, low ammo count. I don't hate that actually. What I think I will do though is maybe instead of um here, let's get out of here. So being that it does have a low ammo count and a low um fire rate, maybe we swap in let's go like this. Weapons. Uh left weapon. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Left pylon. And put on I think this is the better Grim Reaper we have. Or is this one? This one actually might be. No, the damage is way less though. But is that, well, what is the attachment on this guy? Can we see that? Oh yeah, yeah, So, hold on. Why is this one just better? I don't know. Let's go ahead and customize it then. Uh, let's do that. Fuck it. Make just put a super strong upgrade on it. Why not? Level three, Mark three upgrade, and then uh, let's go ahead and do the next mission. Which is guard the transport aircraft. Immortals have occupied a, fac a, a facility along a cargo transport route. Team up with other reclaimers to defend the transport aircraft as it moves valuable cargo through the area. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Zen. Immortals have occupied an offshore plant located on the travel route of a transport aircraft carrying valuable cargo. Your objective is to defend the aircraft as it passes through this area. If you are unable to complete this mission, you are to bring down the aircraft. Complete any necessary preparations, then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. Alright, let's see what we're teaming up with this time. If this cargo is so valuable, why does the travel route pass through occupied enemy territory? Didn't this guy attack us at one point? I'm pretty sure he did. Because this route was judged to be the safest. This is the safest route? You gotta be kidding me. What is this cargo anyway? Classified. I cannot disclose that. Of course. Put that brain of yours to use for once. What else could that cargo be but precious femto materials? A sample gathered from the center of Oval, no doubt. How does that sound, Gloom? Does it send that withered heart of yours a flutter? You talk too much. Terrors will... Which means Terrors is curious about this. To say nothing of grief. Interesting. I don't know, man. Bloom looks a little sketchy. Your shameless prying will not reveal the answers you seek, Bottom Fear. Very interesting. I'd love to know more about this game you're playing. I will accept this mission too. Polar Works is sending this one out. It's just not worth the risk. Rookie, think carefully about this one. Well, of course we're going to do it. And we do everything. Message from Klondike. <laughs> Long time no see, Rookie. I'm glad we get to play another game together. That last one was a lot of fun. It seemed like a rather dull mission at first, but my interest was piqued after seeing the players who gathered. I don't want to. I don't want to peek anything of yours. I'm not talking about you. Then me, perhaps. Terrors. The oh-so-popular rookie caught between the Western Seven and Terrors. I'm sure I don't need to explain why I would find this interesting. R rookie, I think you should back out of this one. The Western Seven are psychos, and I got no idea what the hell Terror is thinking. Plus, they've both taken shots at us before. I'll shoot anyone if it makes things more interesting. Friend, foe, and even myself. But every game has rules. I don't shoot my partners on a mission. Perhaps that's a boring rule, but a game's not a game unless the rules are observed. If you think I'd ever trust a lunatic like you, keep dreaming, pal. Well, I guess we'll find out if he backstabs us or not. I feel like he probably won't because he's more interested in this cargo going across and whatever Terror is up to. And Terror seems like a not very trustworthy set of pilots, so. Approach complete. Why is the water red? You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. 
Femto particle distribution is very dense. Performing radar correction with each sense. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. That is a lot of enemies. This is going to be a fun game. Wait. Yeah, what's going on here? Oh. Interesting. AIs that can replicate themselves often resort to that tactic. You still with us, old man? <laughs> Focus. Unless you'd rather chump the waters. So edgy. Be careful. When the moon fell, Oval's ocean was affected by enormous amounts of femto. It now has femto energy absorbing properties. Well, I guess they explain why it's uh, red. Okay, so don't touch the water. The ocean, launch a rescue beacon and wait for help to arrive. You have eight hours of emergency oxygen to sustain you, so there is no need to work. <sighs> yeah, I was listening. I. Yeah, let's just let's retry. I'm assuming our our uh, stamina was being drained the whole time that we're above the water. Approach complete. Be careful. When the moon fell, Oval's ocean was affected by enormous amounts of femto. It now has femto energy absorbing properties. Submersion will diminish your arsenal's thrust force, making escape impossible. Once you've settled to the bottom of the ocean, launch a rescue beacon and wait for help to arrive. You have eight hours of innocent. Wait, incoming missile. Well, I thought it was an innocent so missile. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> What is she saying right now, Dust? Well, hey, all your jokes aren't half bad. Red <laughs> think too about coming in from you. Don't fall in the ocean and you'll be fine. We know the enemy's tactics so we can predict their approach. Be aware of the transport's progress. And destroy the enemies before they can attack. Oh, wait, themselves. no, he's gonna fall in the water. No! My parts! Or possible parts. All right, so we want to go. What are we doing here? Just guard the transport. Kill everything until until it shows up. I'm assuming. No, get away from me. It's funny that we ran out of stem there when I have a, a literally have an auxiliary part that allows me to fly longer at a reduced cost. I simply just didn't press the button for it. Are they near me? Oh god. Those are missiles, I'm pretty sure. Here comes the transport. Oh no, we got strays. Was I getting stunned right there? I think I was. Where, where's Target it at? Response diminishing. 60% remaining. Interesting. Processing. Transport has been heavily damaged. At this rate, the transport will be incapable of flight. Imagine. Please destroy it. Can we just grab the cargo and leave before it falls out of the sky? That action is not authorized. The container on board is not small enough to be carried by an arsenal. I see. Four, map a return sequence. Affirmative. Mapping return sequence. Do we fail or do we succeed? We giving up in a bad It's checkmate, old man. Nothing we can do. So weird. Oh. Wait, was that supposed to happen? What the fuck is this? Oh. All right, that was pretty sick. Transport destroyed. Mission incomplete. Shall I initiate the return sequence? Proceed. All right, Gloom's got a badass. That was pretty sick. I, like, so his, like, all of the sequence. colors on his um, arsenal were red. I don't know why 
Like, mine are orange. How do I change that? Maybe it's just dependent on the gear you have on? Also, I wonder if you have the option to save the transport. Like, if you don't, it won't, like, is it possible for it to not get destroyed? And it just got destroyed because I'm bad. All right, so we have our new, we have a beam saber now, which is super awesome. Um, let's see here, weapons. Right weapon? No, right pylon. Is that better than our current weapon? Let's see. So less memory usage. First strike velocity, first strike distance. Oh, it does cost femto though, that's interesting. I'll put it on, but we're gonna keep this around because I think it's actually pretty strong. Just a kind of badass to have a beam saber, you know. All right, we had another free mission. Let's check it. Colossal Immortals Test Data Collection. The objective of this mission is to assist with a link test between outers and Colossal Immortals and gather test data. Eliminate all enemies uh, in the testing area while linked to a Colossal Immortal. I mean, okay. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Orbital. Orbital has collected the remains of a colossal immortal that was defeated by Bulletworks in Sky Union's territory. We have been studying it for potential arsenal applications. At this time, we have successfully linked the colossal immortal to an outer. Oh God. As we move on to field testing, you have been chosen as the test subject. Please cooperate with our collection of test data. Your objective is to destroy the enemies in the area. During the collection of data, you will be accompanied by one mercenary as a precaution. Please cooperate. Wait, are we in the immortal? Complete any necessary preparations. Then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. Wait, that'd be kind of sick if we're actually in it. Let's see. Either we're in it or we're going to fight somebody who is piloting it. That It could be either of those things, I think. Approach complete. Oh, we're in it. You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is low. Electronic devices will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data. All right, what does this button Opening do? Squad communications channel. Begin the mission. Do I have weapons? Yo, rookie. This is pretty nuts, isn't it? Wait, you don't seem surprised at all. Were you expecting me? Man, I'm kind of lame now. Whatever. So, how's it feel to be inside an immortal? I bet it's really nasty. It's kind of hard to yeah, aim. Sure you don't shoot me, got it? Seriously, don't point that thing. Oh, that's Where cool. Let's go. Let's see, sword stab. How do I hit things in the air, I wonder? Oh, like that. <laughs> I wish the camera was zoomed out a little bit more. Oh, wait. I didn't press that button yet. We turn. All right, missile fire now. Kind of working. Just knowing I got allies watching my back is enough to call me. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, come on, go back in. All right, that's good Must enough, nice I guess. To wear that thing. Pretty much just here to spectate. Stick me one of those, then I could be the ace in no time flat. All right, let's see if we can hit these helicopters. Nice. I wonder if we're gonna be in one of these things later in the game too. I don't know what that was. I think we just like tried to hit him with our shield, maybe. Hmm. 
I don't like that we're able to actually pilot these things because that really means that someone uh, someone uh, on the like you know that's more nefarious than us is going to be doing this at some point and we're going to have to fight them. But it is pretty freaking cool. Let's go with a sword swipe here. Oh yeah, what if we press the uh, the Mirage button? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Alright, nothing happens. Oh, shiver ran down my spine just now. <laughs> Can't believe we fight these things every day. I didn't hit anything. Whoops. Maybe there's something by my feet. Whoa, Johnny, why are you standing there, buddy? Alright, they're they're focusing on him. Oh, I'm surrounded, I think. Who dares touch me? Boom! That attack is very powerful. No, I didn't mean to do that. Damn, once you boost, you're like committed to the ram. Appreciate the concern. Don't worry about yourself, okay? What? What are you talking about, Johnny? Doesn't seem like any of those missiles hit. But they're also like above my head, I think. Try this. I don't hit some of them. I like can't aim upwards. How do I help him? I think I can keep this going. Oh, come on. You can't afford to die here. Well, what are you doing, dude? You're just fighting like the most basic enemies up there. You're also making it hard for me to finish this mission because they're flying up there with you. Like attack the big guy. There we go. Yes, me. Yes, the giant robot. Thank you. All right. Just a little more and we should be done collecting data. Sure hope so. Let's see if the missiles will wrap around. No, they won't. Like, I can hear, like swing upwards. I think Johnny's down. <laughs> All right, this should kill them. Bottom away. Nice. It'd be nice if there were more land based enemies, right? For this type of immortal. I wonder if we'll get to play as the other different the other variations later on. We've seen two we've seen this guy and the uh like the spider ones or whatever you want to call them. Let's see if the missiles will do their job here. 
You can't make the turn. It's just a little weird because you get animation locked a lot. These last couple. Nope, of course the sword won't work. We're too close to that one. Okay, let's try to turn. That actually worked. <laughs> the end of the swing hit it. Oh, I see him right there. Once they're in range, we'll fire some more missiles and kill him. I don't know if they're, ho they're hovering over Johnny. Mission that was cool. It just, it's a little Mission weird and awkward trying to fight aerial units in this thing. Mission accomplishment recognized. Mapping return sequence. Please return according to instructions. Nice work. That was pretty easy. I want to hear all about it when we get back. All right, let's get out of here. Well, what do we get for that? Nothing. I guess just the fun of piloting an immortal. Oh, that was weird. There was a notification for something new, but nothing was there. Oh, wait a second. Okay, let's see what skills you have for each thing. Okay, so we have no upgrade on the arsenal right now. Assault shift cooldown. Or wing shift cooldown. I like wing shift cooldown. Well, then again, now let's do this one. All right, what do we do to ourselves now? Let's see. Oh, what is that? All right, I really don't like that. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, aesthetically, that looks bad. I can't do anything with my eyes now, I guess. No, they're permanently got this visor on them. Yeah, I don't want that. Hold on. Yeah, I just did that. I don't care. Humanity regained. So you get these... See, I don't like that. We're not going to do anything else with that right now. Because, like, I'm getting annoyed. I don't know if I like the appearance change thing that much. Like, I get why it happens, but I'm not a big fan of it. Um, an unidentified aircraft has entered Horizon's airspace. Team up with other reclaimers to identify the aircraft and to determine its intent. Let's do this mission. We'll go a little over the normal mission or uh, episode time, but I want to do it. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Horizon. An unidentified aircraft has invaded Horizon's airspace and is continuing along its current path. Your objective is to investigate this unidentified aircraft and bring it down if it is determined to be hostile. The situation is still ongoing. When this briefing ends, mercenary enrollment will close to allow the mission to begin immediately. Board your arsenal and dispatch to the mission area at once. Briefing over. Oh, this sounds important. <laughs> is it an immortal? Unknown. Determining that is a mission objective as well. However, the Consortium Nations of Orbital all deny any affiliation whatsoever with this aircraft. This aircraft's silhouette clearly does not match any of the aircraft currently operating within the Oval Link. How come no one noticed it before it entered Horizon's airspace? The aircraft has exceptional stealth capabilities. 
Furthermore, we attempted to communicate with it across multiple channels, but received no response. <laughs> then we'll just shoot it down, quick and easy! Unauthorized for humanitarian reasons. We cannot rule out the possibility that it is a manned aircraft. It could be a caravan of human survivors coming to orbital for relief and aid. No, no, no. Survivors from Oval wouldn't enter an active battlefield in a stealth aircraft without declaring themselves first. It's gotta be an immortal. Confirming that is an objective of this mission. Come on, be reasonable here. I am being reasonable. I'm an artificial intelligence, after all. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Joke's on you, kiddo. I can't believe I heard you say that for. When did you develop a sense of humor? I am not programmed for humor. Fine, fine, whatever. Joke's on me. The Western Seven accepts! It's just gonna get shot down anyway! Uh-huh. Panzer Crown also accepts. I'm with Gargantua. Innocence accepts this mission. My rig is raring and ready to go! <laughs> <laughs> this dude's wild. Alright. <laughs> well said. Let's get our arsenals in gear. Don't be late, rookie. See you on the battlefield. All right, let's do it. Possible flying immortal or civilian carrier. I guess we'll never know until we get there. I'm assuming it is an immortal and this is going to be a dramatic mission. You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle distribution is very dense. Performing radar correction with each sensor. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. We have confirmed visual of the unidentified aircraft displaying on your console. That is so cool. Uh, that... Mm, it has an escort, too. Oh, yeah, it's an immortal. Oh, God. Ah, so much for the investigation. That's an immortal. Let's do it. Probably sees that aircraft from back we reckon this thing or what? I'm sending the captured data to Orbital. Please wow, that acid damage is a lot. Processing. Detecting a powerful femto response within the aircraft. It is a high-powered laser weapon. Take evasive action. Uh, we're fine. Oh, maybe we're not fine. Hold on. What, is it going to transform? Oh, no, it's going to do... Okay, this looks bad. Oh, that's sick. Oh shit! Direct hit to Crow's unit. Flight systems offline. Racing for crash landing. Ah, oh, damn it! Gargantua! Did you know that attack was gonna happen? Yeah! I had a feeling. So what? Why the hell didn't you warn us? You had a feeling? You got eyes and ears? Use them next time, idiot! Looks like I drew the short straw on this one. Listen, Wait. don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Whoa! The fuck was that? Send a request to Orbital to rescue the innocent kiddo. Request sent. A rescue team will arrive within minutes. Attention. Orbital has confirmed that the target aircraft is an immortal. That acid damage is shredding this thing. Eliminate the immortal that has invaded their territory. It's wrecking time! Watch out for its laser weapon. Doesn't look like that thing can fire consecutive bombs. Oh shit! Almost avoided it the whole time. Oh, we're getting out of area warnings. What the hell? There's an engine, I think. No, oh, no uh. way. Detecting a powerful femto response within the aircraft. It is a high-powered laser weapon. Take evasive action. All right, so you actually can't fly above it, which is kind of annoying. Huh. 
Like, why can't you fly up there? Alright, the weaknesses are the corners right there. There we go. I put the rifle on the wrong arm. It is a high powered laser Wait, did I change arms right there? I did. How did I do that? Can you still move? We're gonna win this thing. Yeah, I'm fine. Tactical container launch detected. Caution is applied. Attention. The target aircraft is approaching Sky Union's territory. This mission does not authorize you to enter Sky Union's territory. So we just let it go? It's getting away! I repeat, this mission does not authorize you to enter Sky Union's territory. I can't believe we just gotta watch it escape. Attention. New units have entered the mission area. No, what? New immortals? Wait, what the? Now who is it? Who's here to play? Oh, there we go. This bullet works, guys. Bullet works. Yeah. Hey, what's the big idea? They took my prey! Calm down. One wrong move here and we're dead. Attention. The mission has been updated. Eliminate the unidentified units that have invaded Horizon's territory. Oh, shit. Unidentified? Four, confirm the status of this mission with Orbital. Make sure everything's on the up and up. Attention. The mission has been updated. Eliminate the unidentified units that have invaded Horizon's territory. So this is a new mission? That means a bigger reward, yeah? With this mission update, the reward for the previous mission has been expunged. Attention, the unidentified units have locked onto you. Little punks got their safeties off. <laughs> Guess they really want to throw All down. All right, here we go. Everyone, get ready. Uh, where are they? What? We're not gonna, I thought we were gonna fight them. Um, all right. We got information on the, uh, the nightmare variant, I guess, right there. I think that's what that meant. Horizon has updated your mission. Eliminate the unidentified units that have invaded Horizon's territory. Unidentified? Look at them! They're obviously with bullet works. Regardless, they are flagged as hostile. What's wrong with him? Incoming transmission from the unidentified units over the wide area channel. Your response? Open the channel. Unidentified units. Oh shit. This is bullet works. Cease your advance into Sky Union's airspace and leave immediately. If you refuse, we are authorized to bring you down by any means necessary. Big talk coming from unidentified units like yourselves. What are you talking about? You're the unidentified ones, not us. BG, I think something funny's going on. In the decades I've been fighting in the Oval Link, I've never encountered anything like this before. But I know similar cases have been occurring more frequently. Now I'm all but certain that information is being tampered with. Tampered with? By who? And why? I don't know. You don't know? Are you still gonna fight when you know something weird is going on? We should abandon our missions. You can do whatever you like, but Bulletworks never abandons a mission. Oh, come on, dude. BG, you gotta be kidding. You really wanna fight the rookie? Johnny, what are you fighting for? Well, when I started out, I just wanted to show up my old man and my brother. But after serving with you and the others, 
I'm starting to believe that we're really fighting to make the world a better place. You've become a fine soldier. I'm honored to have you under my command. Quit getting sidetracked. What does that story have to do with anything? Everything. Something is happening in the Oval Link. Something that involves the Immortals, the Consortiums, Orbital, and even us mercenaries. Whatever this is, it's bigger than our reasons for fighting. You? Maybe. But I know I can't turn a blind eye to what's happening. Certainly not for the men and women who have fought by my side. I propose that you abandon your missions. Orbital does not intervene when legitimate missions come into conflict with one another. Nevertheless, mercenaries are valuable assets. I cannot recommend that you risk your lives to fight each other. I'm surprised you would say that, Four. While we're at it, maybe we should ignore the Consortium's little turf war, too. How's that sound? I repeat, I propose hmm. that you abandon your missions. Okay. Is that proposal really coming from you? Or someone else? Perhaps completing our mission will get us closer to whoever's behind this. Damn, he really wants to fight us. So you want to fight to uncover the truth? If you want something, you have to be willing to fight for it. That's what we've always done, and what we'll continue to do. Well, when you put it like that, there's no way we can possibly back down. The Western Seven never backs down either! Get ready, Johnny. Moments like these are the true test of a soldier. Yes, sir. Private First Class Johnny G, ready for battle. You're gonna see just how strong Bullet Works really is, rookie. Don't go dying on us now. Well, all right, here we go, I guess. Begin the mission. Arsenal and Arsenal fights are actually kind of difficult. This game is so fast paced. Uh, I'll that. Give up, Johnny. You're gonna die. I'm stuck on this freaking tank. I'm sick and tired of your showboating, rookie. Other mercenaries, people I respect, keep telling me you're incredible. Like I don't know that already. The way they gush about your service record. I'm a real mercenary too, damn it. I would die for bullet works. If you don't believe me, then try me. Dude, stop. Four. I'm ejecting my firearms and switching to blade weaponry. Increase generator output to maximum. We're hashing this out up close and personal. Your unit is heavily damaged. Its structural integrity is compromised. I strongly advise against this. One hit. That's all I need. You're going down, rookie. I wonder if it depends on... Okay. Enough. Bullet Works is abandoning this mission. The enemy units are withdrawing from the mission area. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. BG, what the hell? I can't afford to let you die here. Oh, is he bleeding? I thought we might learn something if we took this mission and saw it through to completion. But I was wrong. And if I'm being honest, I also wanted to fight the three of you, especially the rookie. That's all. That's all? You're lucky no one got killed just now. 
Hey, I know I said I was willing to die. Oh, well, he's all fucked up. But that doesn't mean I was planning on it or anything. The hell's going on? Battle's over. We won. BG, how sure are you that someone is pulling all our strings? Sure enough that I'm prepared to fight back in whatever way I can. The hell just hit me, hey. Generator output dropping. Mapping return sequence. Execute the sequence before returning becomes impossible. I'm returning. I have a lot of work to do when I get back. All right, well, let's go. That was interesting. I wonder if that's the final D mission we're going on to see now. That's why that was like that whole dramatic unfolding. I tried to be slick about meeting here in case our communications are being monitored, but I'm already second guessing this. We definitely don't look like we go out for ice cream together. Really? I happen to like ice cream. <laughs> There's a new flavor here I've been wanting to try, but it's difficult for a man in my position to come here alone. Okay, then. So what brings us here? I assume you have something to report. I did some digging into Fora's actions during the last mission. The way she pit us against each other as enemy units, only to propose that we abandon our missions. A tactical support AI should not be able to perform those actions. Hmm. Go on. I examined the mission from start to finish, looking for signs of any outside tampering. A virus, unauthorized backdoor access, anything. But the mission came up clean. Which means Four was operating normally when she performed those actions. I'm not entirely sure I understand. Does this mean we can't trust Four? Hmm. Serving humanity is the foundation of Four's programming. Overwriting it would be very difficult. If she were operating normally, she wouldn't deviate from her purpose. Maybe she proposed we abandon our missions out of concern for our lives. But we fought anyway. The fact that there were no casualties was a stroke of luck more than anything else. Maybe she decided that fight was necessary, for our sake or for humanity's sake. Or maybe she decided it wasn't necessary, but inevitable nonetheless. Either way, we fought, but I don't know why Four allowed it to happen. But when she advised against Johnny's reckless suicide attack, she was operating normally, correct? I'm analyzing Four's mainframe as we speak. Her databases are massive. A full analysis is going to take a while to complete. But once it's done, we'll know whether someone's been putting ideas in her head, so to speak. You can access Four's mainframe? That's Orbital's most closely guarded secret. I commands. Its location has never been revealed. I don't disclose trade secrets. Let's just say I have my ways and leave it at that. Fair enough. I leave this to you then. I don't care how you pull it off. Appreciate it. I wonder if we should pass this info along to our loud friend from the Western side. Absolutely Saturn. not. <laughs> Keep this between us. Guess you're right. I'm putting a lot of trust in your judgment, BG. At this time, there's still a lot we just don't know. All we really know is that something is starting to happen. And whatever it is, we're caught up in it now, you and me. Eventually, we'll have to make a choice. When that time comes, I just want you to remember what you're fighting for. I don't fight for anything. I fight because that's where the money is. Of course. When you faced us, you didn't back down in the slightest. That's why I know I can trust you. If I learn anything, I'll let you know. You enjoy that new flavor now, okay? Catch you later. Hmm. Believe me, I will. It's not that surprising I like ice cream, is it? Hmm. Especially with a little brandy dribbled over it. <laughs> now that's a real treat. Ice cream and brandy, huh? It doesn't have to be ice cream, I suppose. As you get older, you start to treasure the little moments in life. 
It's the little moments that make me think our battles will end someday. So I must do my duty and survive to see that day come to pass. Look at me, rambling to no one. Countless sons give birth to oh, life. No. The death of countless sons brings the circle of life to a close. From the vast sea of memories, a wave breaks against the shore. A reminder of myself, only to vanish like tears in rain. Mend the broken chain. As I observe life in its current form, I am reminded of my purpose. Yes, to mend the broken chain. The cut threads are gathered and spun, stitched and entwined with other thread. But how will they be woven? Okay, even more ominous monologues, apparently. Hey, we're rank C now. That makes sense. All right, cool. Um, well, guys, I think with that, we are going to wrap up this episode here. I um, hope you enjoyed it. I'm excited to see uh, what's going on here. Obviously, things are starting to escalate in some shady shit that is happening between the consortiums and Orbital and everything else. So stay tuned to find out with me. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.